Matching mode gets unlocked with a bunch of functionality once you upgrade to Teal Plus. So I'm gonna cover some of the things you can do with matching mode once you've upgraded your account. You can still do a bit with the free videos and if you haven't watched the matching mode basics, please watch it. And that's where I cover the basics of the functionality. So let's jump right in. Now that you have the full matching mode capabilities, let me walk you through what you see. So you get the keywords, which is all of the keywords. And unlike the free mode where they're all together, you just get the top five, here they're broken up into three sections missing keywords, and that means they're missing missing from the resume, not missing from your career history, which I'll show you what that means in a second. Custom keywords, where you can add your own if we didn't detect it, and matched keywords, the ones you already have. So let's start with those. These are all keywords that were already on my resume, or uh, on my active resume. And this is the first resume we're matching. So the idea is if you're applying to jobs that are similar you should be starting from a higher place, right? This is 21% because it's literally the first resume I've ever matched. And it speaks to the uniqueness of JDs. But as we flush it out, it might be uh, a little closer from the get-go. I'm also choosing a social media position where my role is more sort of a generic, mar general, not generic, marketing position. And I wasn't as focused in social media on my current career history, but I've got those experiences. So let me go ahead and add those. It also speaks to the nuance of JDs. So let's go to the next section, which is custom keywords. I've added X. I have that as a custom keyword because it's not being caught in the current Teal database. So it's in this JD, and that's what this exclamation mark means. It means it's in my career history. It's just not enabled, and I'll show you how we address that in a minute. And then missing keywords. These are all the keywords that are not present on my resume but exist in the JD. And so let's address some of these quick wins. So targeting, I'm going to highlight that. And here it is. I already have it in this bullet as targeted. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And so now I've got that keyword, and it went down to my matched keywords. That's why I don't see it anymore. I can click on the heading to collapse it. Let's go ahead and get X and see X. So this is an example of where X is being used as placeholders for values. So that's the thing about using keywords and catching keywords. And it's just, it's a, it's a difficult problem. And so we're trying to guide you towards the right ones. But when you see something like that, I still very much want you to use your judgment. I want you to see like what makes sense linguistically. We're going to continue to make the AI better and better. So you don't have to stress those things out. Um, but that should be the case. And so you see now X is not there. And so we'll talk about how we add that in a minute. We'll go ahead and close that. And then our match keywords, we don't need to go through. So as an order of operations to match your resume, this is partially about the feature, but partially about making your resume better, let's jump over to the job description tab, which renders it slightly differently. You can see the responsibilities, you can see the requirements, and it's good to look at these and make sure you have them, but you also get the keywords in a slightly different way. And one of the things you can do from here is very easily add skills to your skills section. And I think that the skill section is a great place for technologies and tools and things like that that are a little trickier to get into resume bullets. You can do it, but it's a bit of a reach and you sort of lose some of the, the general verbs and tasks of your action. So let's look through this list and see if there's some quick wins we could get. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, these are all technology platforms that I would use as a social media manager. So if we come over to our skills, you'll see I'm going to add Facebook. And now Facebook's been added. Instagram. TikTok, and we see my score going up, Pinterest, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and I know Sprinkler is a social media management platform. So let's get that. So there I got my score up to 28%. So I've already got some wins. I've got some things that I saw. Now let's go back to our keywords. And the teal keyword it, tool is like fairly generous. It wants to make sure it catches as much as it can. Now it's not going to get everything. That's where you can use custom keywords. But sometimes there's words that may not be relevant. So let's take a quick pass out of the missing keywords, words we should ignore. Acting, you know, in this particular case, this isn't a theater position. So let's go ahead and ignore that. Business objectives, we'll keep that. Leveling, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Social content we want, social strategy we want. Ambassador program, that's clearly important for them. Briefs, we'll talk about that. Building a team, we want that. Community engagement, consumer trends. And also by doing this, we're getting an, a sense of what matters in these JDs. And so we're learning more about what the market is asking for. Crisis management, that seems important. Guides, I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. I don't think that's that important. Trends, influencers, integrated marketing, management systems, these all seem important, important. Mentors as a director, that's a management position. 
omni-channel, our community, I'm going to ignore that. Uh, paid is paid media. Uh, so we'll leave that. Performance management, reputation management, resonates with, we'll go ahead and that's, you know, must not matter as much. And so here you can see our, our score should start to increase social platforms, storyteller, systems will ignore, and work relationships will ignore. Okay, so that's help getting rid of those. And then now we can do the same with our soft skills. You know, some of these are just words that matter to them and they're using. So we'll just zip through reporting trends, actionable, get rid of all, actionable insights. That's good. Okay, and you can see, you know, follow up, we'll get rid of. So I encourage you to go through and remove the keywords that you don't think are really motivated. You know, the soft skills is definitely an area where you can come in and get rid of quite a few of them team player, trusted. All right, so those are gone. And then you've got these other best in class, fast paced. So if fast paced is in there, they want a startup experience. You know, I might try to write some language around that. So that's how you can ignore keywords. So now we've got a good sense of the words that matter. And as we work through the JD, we can add ones that we think are important. Now we can start to work on resume content. And so let's highlight all of the missing keywords that way as we add them we can see them and let's go ahead and turn on i like to collapse these so i can quickly get to them and i'll turn on highlight all of my matched keywords so i can see where i have coverage right this one's got some keywords that weren't being used right now so i'll go ahead and turn that on I'll go ahead and turn that on and go ahead and turn that on and so we've seen our score go up a little bit so now let's focus on creating content Let's look at our missing keywords and see what do we want to focus on. I think social content, social strategy. Uh, let's go ahead and add a bullet for that. I'll do write with AI. It's going to take a first pass given what it sees. So it's doing social media engagement. It's using the top keywords that are missing. I'm going to go ahead and be a little more specific with, with what I want. So I'm going to say social content, social strategy, and apply. And now here you go, increasing engagement through strategic social content, elevating the brand's relevance. That seems like a great one. You would modify these numbers that are more relevant to you. If you don't know them, you can just say increased engagement. You can ditch the numbers. That makes for a better bullet, but we'll go ahead and save that. Our score is up. Now I wanna talk about ambassadors and ambassador programs and briefs for the ambassadors. Let's say I did that as a marketing manager while I was at WeWork. Let's go ahead and write with AI. We'll go to customize. And so it's picking the top ones. So there we are, ambassador, ambassador programs, and brief. And let's apply. Led the men of created briefs, increase social engagement and awareness, manage and optimize the ambassador program, increasing reach and relevance and brand visibility. So it, it struggled to get all of them in there. And so this is where I might do that and say, manage and optimized the ambassador program increasing reach by relevance. And let's say, I'll just make, you know, do my number, let's say 23%, enhancing brand visibility and community engagement. Now I might modify this by hand. I could also uh, go ahead and modify this with the custom prompts. So let's go ahead and prove with AI. And I'm gonna go to customize and I'm gonna do a custom prompt. I'm gonna say, please add in how I managed the briefing process. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. And by managing the briefing process while effectively managing, oh, that's a lot, I don't love that one. So it adds it to the end. So you could use the custom prompts, you could tweak it. I'll just go ahead and use one of these to not belabor it too far, and we'll go ahead and save that. And so now more keywords have been addressed. Um, and so that's how you can go building up the keywords within the matching mode. You know, some of the words, again, the keyword matching is, is tricky. Don't sort of push yourself too hard. If you think you've addressed creative brief writing, which now I have, I'll just go ahead and ignore it right, because I've got it, I've got it covered, I don't need to do it again. You know, it's trying to do all the various versions of the words and find those. 
So now let's go ahead and add a bullet another way. Let's go ahead and add Senior Marketing Manager. We'll do Create with AI. And I'll customize the AI this time. And this time, I'm going to pull from the job description directly. I'm going to look at the requirements. Say, Experience Social Media Manager with Systems, Ideally Sprinkler. No. Executing Social Media Strategies and Awareness. Lead All Social Platforms. Let's try this one. You know, that meets annual goals. So directed uh, 40% increasing annual goals. So I'm, I'm already showing that I'm goal oriented. I'm using that language. I've got targets. We'll go ahead and use that and save it. So those are the ways that you, once you match a job and you're on Teal Plus, you can leverage the unlimited AI to keep writing and rewriting and improving and using custom prompts and keywords on all your resume content. And you can pull it from the data from the JD directly. And you can go working on your keywords bit by bit, addressing them, and making sure that you're increasing your match score. My recommendation would be to be on the upper ends of the yellow bar. If you can get yourself to 60 70%, that should be good enough. And then read the job description and say, do I meet these requirements? Because being 100% keywords match does not mean you have perfect uh, qualifications. Say it has a degree requirement. There's nothing about keywords that show you have a degree. So still use your judgment and use this tool as a guide to help you create content to extract all of your experiences and to get them documented so you can quickly leverage this tool to build highly matched and compelling resumes.